And on the 29th of September that year, Jaguar unveiled something that took everyone's breath away, the Jaguar CX-75. This wasn't just any concept car, this was a bold vision for the future. And the car's very name actually speaks volumes. C stood for concept, X stood for experimental, and 75 stood for the 75 years of heritage that stood before to commemorate Jaguar's anniversary. But the CX-75 wasn't just a showpiece, it was a statement. Designed under the leadership of Ian Callum and Julian Thompson, every curve, every line told the story of Jaguar's race and heritage and its aspirations for the future. But what truly set the CX-75 apart wasn't just its looks, it was actually its heart. Beneath the sleek and sexy body lay the revolutionary powertrain that promised to rewrite the rulebook. This time, Jaguar partnered with Bladen Jets to develop micro gas turbines. Yeah, you heard that right. Jet engines for the road. These turbines, paired with electric motors on each axle, produced a combined 780 horsepower. This exact setup allowed the car to achieve an electric-only range of 68 miles. This was absolutely unheard of at the time for an electric car. The engineering team led by Bob Joyce and with significant input from Wolfgang Zeibart faced immense challenges but pushed forward. The concept was so well received that in 2011 Jaguar decided you know what we're actually going to put this into a production car. However there was a catch. The gas turbines or jet engines whilst being revolutionary weren't actually very practical for mass production. So naturally Jaguar had to pivot. And in order to pivot for the production model Jaguar decided to team up with Williams Advance Engineering. Together they developed an F1 derived engine that would never have been seen before in a production car. This engine would be designed and tuned by Cosworth, a tuning company most well known for their hand in building F1 engines and recent hypercar engines like the Aston Martin Valkyrie, the Bugatti Tourbillon and the Gordon Murray GMA T50 and so on. The engine developed for the CX-75 would be both a turbocharged and supercharged 1.6 litre four-cylinder engine. This engine, along with electric motors, produced over a thousand horsepower. A thousand horsepower in 2012, bearing in mind, would be a massive amount. Stats-wise, the car would be able to go from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, with a top speed of 220 miles an hour. It was a technological marvel, even today, never mind in 2012.